Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Sam and Max Hit the Road. We are back at the top of the large, well, the world's largest ball of twine. It is a large ball of twine, but it's the world's largest ball of twine. And uh, we've got a couple of locations I want to check out again in this episode, because you guys have seemed to suggest that I've missed a couple of items somewhere. Uh, so we're going to kick off with the restaurant here, seeing as we're right here. We're also going to check out the little museum down at the bottom, and then we're going to go back to the carnival, because I've been told I might have missed some items there as well. So let's just have a proper look around all of these locations and see if there is anything. Thank you. That we have missed. Right, fresh fish. Um, this guy. He looks safe enough. <laughs> right, let's talk to him. Now what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Bending more tools? Absolutely. I'm bending more <laughs> tools. I think it was Frog was saying that, that this guy's got absolutely nothing on Ransom the Beeping Clown, and I agree. Ransom's like this guy, but magnified 10 billion times. If you haven't played Thimbleweed Park, make sure you do this good. How do you bend these tools anyway? You think I'm going to spill my f***ing secrets to you two mama looks? <laughs> yes. Hey, lay off the swearing. We're trying to appeal to kids. Get bent. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Percent sign, hammer sand, dollar sign. And colon, semicolon, too. Yeah. What are you f***ing doing? Swearing in longhand, asterisk mouth. <laughs> I think we had these discussions before, but I've already forgotten them. About Conroy. I told you not to f***ing ask me about him. Yeah, but we are. We need information. Sure you don't know anything about Bruno? Never f***ing heard of him. All right, all right. Calm down. Well, We're going. bye. Jeez. Right, um... You look safe enough. Yeah, so, anyway. You carry on doing that, buddy. That's fine. Um... I don't, I don't think there's Seafood. anything else in here. I, I can't see anything other than these signs. This, which we clearly still need an item for. Um, and that guy. So, I don't think what we need is in here. Yeah, it's gonna say about using I've it again. I've got to use yeah, this I know. elevator. I know. Right. Let's go back down. I mean, some of you guys have pointed out that we haven't really actually done anything in the museum, so I wonder if perhaps there is something in the museum that we need to get. Um, or maybe the guy now says something new, seeing as we've been up here and caused havoc. But yeah, apparently the only thing we needed to get up at the top, and some of you guys, Organic, and um, some of the other guys have, have commented saying that this twine here is literally the only thing we needed to get from up here, so we've solved that puzzle. Um, but there's obviously something else that we're missing here, so... Let's go into the museum. Let's see if there's anything new we can do in here. Um, anything we can look at? The fish going outside the window. It's raining fish heads. Don't see. I can't pick that up. No, we can't pick it up. Right, this guy. Remember us? We're back. How much are they paying you anyway? What is Max doing? I'm a volunteer, but they let me sleep here and I get all the twine I can eat. So how can I help you? Uh, I've got some major questions for you, buddy. How'd you get this job anyway? I clawed my way to the top, trampling those foolish enough to get in my way. Fair enough. Sounds like a nice person. Stop staring at me. I can't help it. <laughs> okay. It's places like this that make me wish I were Canadian. Yeah, I remember well, that. We have that joke. Too, but half of it's French. <laughs> right, Bruno. Is there anything else you can tell us about Bruno? I can't think of a thing that'll take less than 40 minutes to cover. And we haven't Don't got 40 it. minutes. I need my information in bite-sized packets. So screw you. Fish. Isn't it a little environmentally unsound, dumping all those excess fish guts on the ground? Maybe. Who cares? Hey, good point. <laughs> <laughs> we care. Uh, Conroy Bumpus. Sure you haven't seen Conroy Bumpus? I just don't know. Alright, uh, Twine. What would you do if someone cut off, say, 94 yards of the ball? We'd shoot them, skin them, and sell them as jerky treats. Well, it's a good thing we didn't do that then, because we That'll don't be really jerky. Now. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look at some of this other stuff then. There's got to be something here. It's Max. Well, I was trying to look at this, actually, but... It's just another little piece of string. What's this thing? I bet it's really a soccer ball covered with string. <laughs> yeah, it probably is, to be fair. Um, this thing. This sign tells me more than I really want to know about this monstrosity. This sign tells right, okay. me more than I really want to know about this monstrosity. Hang on, let me just check there isn't an extra area. No. Okay, so we're not doing the classic Turian thing. Words like big and large only begin to describe this thing. Yep. I think stupid and inane would be useful additions, <laughs> not to mention grotesque. 
Uh, right, Max, any ideas? Can we, like, get any of this stuff? If I'm gonna need any string in this game, it'd better be longer piece. Right, so I'm guessing that was a hint then that we needed the string. Um, I can't pick that up. Can't pick that up. Can we do anything here, actually? I've just noticed this. I haven't seen so much twine since that night in Tokyo in 67. Do we want to know about that? I haven't seen so much twine since I can't cut off a piece of twine in the middle. That would destroy its status as the biggest ball of twine in the world. So we did... Can we... We can't... This is a completely unusable thing in the No, we can't do anything with that. Uh, can we get... I No, really. I can't pick that we up. We can't get that. Can we do anything with the bench? I wondered if we could sort of go behind here. But it doesn't look like it. We can't use this. Can, no, it doesn't. This is us. a completely unusable thingamabob. I want... There's got to be something we're missing in here, then. Unless you guys were just... I mean, we can sort of look at the ball. I haven't seen so much twine since that night in Tokyo in 67. What the hell is he doing? I wonder if it's, like, hinting that we can use Max on it? I don't think that'll work. I'd no. need something more snake-like to penetrate the twine. Oh! Okay. Something more snake-like. Do we have anything snake-like? So we've obviously got to get into the twine then. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. Huh. Uh... What do we have that's like a snake? I mean, I'm not really seeing anything snake-like, unless we've got a use this on it. I can't use these things together. No. Okay. Uh, can we use this thing again? I can't use these things together. No. At least we know what we've got to do now. Uh, can we use this thing? The hand? I can't use these things together. No. Okay. Something snake-like. Can we use the magnet-y thing? I can't use these things together. No. Uh, hmm. I, honestly, I don't... Something snake-like. Can we use this? That might be a good idea, but the golf ball retriever is still broken. It's broken? It's a broken golf ball retriever. Uh, okay, so how do we fix it? Do we have to put something on the end? Can we... I can't use these things together. No, okay. I can't use these things together. I wonder if it's something we've already got. Because Frost Gamer was mentioning to check my items more closely. I can't use these things together. I can't use these things no. together. Uh... That might be a good idea, but I'll need something to hold the cup on the end of the retriever. Ah... Oh, can... Right, okay. So, now can that hold that? Yes. Right, so... It's a broken golf ball retriever with a cup attached to it. So is that what we needed to do? That's a good idea, but it won't work. Why? That's a good idea, but it won't work. Why won't it work? It's a broken golf ball retriever with a cup attached to it. Huh. Can we... I can't use these... Right, hang on. Let's just check there's nothing else we need I to attach to it. I can't use these things together. I can't use these things together. What is the deal with this suit as well? I can't figure out how together. we're going to use this. I can't use these things. I better take the cup off first. Oh, okay. So it seems like we can put the magnet on or the cup. That's kind of weird. Ah, <laughs> yes! Whoa, look at all the crap in here! Oh, that is hideous. It's like bits of pizza, jewels. That was wholesome. <laughs> Not to mention physically improbable. Yeah, that true. <laughs> right, so we've got the ring. Okay. I must be happy. <laughs> it's the mood ring. Right, so we've now. So can we attach different things to this then? Because we could. Well, we can. Because we put the magnety thing on there, and we've also put the cup on there. So we might have to remember that for future puzzles. Because the fact we've still got it makes me think we're going to need it again. That's quite a cool little puzzle, actually. It's quite difficult to figure that one out, I've got to say. But, oh, is that what Max was doing with his hand, trying to suggest you've got to grab something? 
if that was, that's a really sneaky little hint from the game. I don't, maybe I'm reading into that wrong, but perhaps he was hinting at that there? If that was, that's very clever, very, very subtle. So subtle that it went completely over my head, of course, but... Right, so, now we've got the ring, we can go back here and give this guy the ring back. And maybe he'll tell us what we needed to know about Bruno. I love this place, it's so cool. Uh, we should just... Was it the red door? I've sort of forgotten what door we went into. I can't pick that up. I'd never fit through it. Was it this one? Yeah, it was this one. It's been a while since we've been here, so I've forgotten exactly what we were doing. Here he is. You're back. I'm back, and I've got and your mood bigger ring. than a bread box. <laughs> Three bread boxes, even. What do you want now? I brought you your ring. Is Here this it your is. ring? Cool, man. <laughs> Have you found Frog Rock yet? No, but I don't see how finding it's going to get me any closer to finding Bruno. Finding Frog Rock's only the beginning, man. Once you're at Frog Rock, you'll need some samples. What samples? samples? Yeah, man. Bigfoot samples. You know, fur and stuff. Three of them. Smear them all over Frog Rock. Ah, we've Put got the fur on the rock. Got it. Let's go, Max. Wait, you'll also need some Mystic Mole Man powder. All right, you got you that. Must be joking. No joke, man. Here, I'll get you some. Nice. Oh, that's what's in the chest. Nice. Okay. Here you go. Sprinkle this Mystic Mole Man powder over the fur when you've smeared it all over Frog Rock. What'll happen then? Something wonderful. <laughs> Thanks. Let's go, Max. I mean, is it Mole Man powder or is it something slightly more questionable? It's a charming decanter filled with vile and mysterious liquids. Okay. It could be my long lost twin brother, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So we've got to go to Frog Rock, apparently. Where where is Frog Rock? Man, it takes forever to get out of here. I when can't pick that up. Uh, right, so have we have we got Frog Rock? Why does he always stop there? It's kind of weird. Right, into the car. We're going to Frog Rock. Uh, where is Frog Rock? Hmm, we haven't... I don't think we've got Frog Rock. Something tells me it might be about here on the map, and we haven't got it yet. Is that... Hmm... Anyway, let's go back to the carnival, because you guys said I needed to go back here and I potentially missed some items. But, so we've got three samples. We've got the Mole Man powder. So, I feel like we've got what we need for the rock at Frog Rock. But the question is, what are we missing here? Cushman Brothers shows. Right, okay. Uh, the Fire Breather's still here. Has he got anything else to say? Hey, Flame Boy. Yes. Uh, got some questions. Doesn't that hurt? A lot. <laughs> I suppose there's a trick to eat. I just haven't been able to figure it out. <laughs> Wonderful. Your ineptitude gives hope to all of us further down on the food chain. <laughs> Is there anything else I can do for you? Yeah. Uh. Could you show us something neat? Sure. Anything else? That was wonderful. Thank you for that. I bet you can't make your flames reach the top of the tent. Watch me, Jojo. Go on then. Fair play. Anything else? Uh. I bet you can't make flames shoot out of your butt. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, he's not gonna do it. He's not gonna do it. I thought he was gonna do it. Are you sure you don't know anything about Conroy Bumpus? He is a country singer, right? Sorry, but I don't know much about him. I'm more of a mumbo fan. Anything else? Yeah, got some questions about Bruno. You can drop the act. We know it was your kerosene-soaked breath that freed Bruno. And we know that you sometimes go for days on the same pair of socks. Okay, you got me. Just don't tell my bosses. Maybe we should rat him out, Sam. The thought of him out in the streets drinking lighter fluid seems somehow ironic. <laughs> it's scary to watch you wrestle with abstract concepts, Max. Oh, God, Max. How tricks he talk you into freeing Bruno? 
She charmed me with your feminine wiles. Right. She also promised to pay me 20 bucks. Right, so that's what I really did it then, the 20 bucks. Eh. Uh, good. Right, so we're gonna have to find something here. Or several somethings. So I think we're gonna have to take a real look around. Well, this is what happens to unsuccessful third party presidential candidates. And let's see if we can I can't pick that up. Let's just try and pick up literally everything that we can. No, really. I can't pick that up. Is he gonna get annoyed again? Because we keep trying to get him to pick things up that he can't. Right, okay. Luckily the game sort of shows us what we can and can't pick up, like it does that. He's not my type. <laughs> Alright. He's not my type. Okay, anything new for you to say? Um, which one do I talk to? Me! Me! Him! Him! <laughs> I love that. <laughs> me, me! Him, him! Have you ever thought about surgery? What for? Oh. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Are you sure there's nothing more you want to tell me about Bruno? Can't think of a thing. Neither can I. Okay. I've forgotten everything you told us about Trixie. She's a nice girl with a thing for tall guys. Okay. Conroy? What was that about Conroy Bumpus again? Don't mention that name in our presence. He's one sick puppy. Alright, okay. Well, it's back to the Bigfoot hunt. So it doesn't look like... Let me just check there's nothing this way. No. So it doesn't look like there's anything in here, so we'll have to explore all the other areas of the carnival in the next one. But that does it for this episode, guys. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, and Nate for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps YouTube push this out to more people who'd like to watch it. And join our little point-and-click community that we're building here. And I will see you all next time.